The Dan Gable National Wrestling Hall of Fame Museum is one of the most prestigious attractions for all wrestling fans. Located in Waterloo, Iowa, the museum is only a few short miles from the University of Northern Iowa's campus. Executive Director Kyle Klingman discusses the importance of culture, among other things, that are forever a part of this legendary place. What, what I think is most important is that this is culture, this is a diverse museum. We are a wrestling museum, but there's so much more to learn about with history, with Abraham Lincoln, with the oldest piece of literature. So any of these majors that come into the museum and they can see what we have, that it's so much more than just maybe Dan Gable or Iowa, Iowa State, UNI, it's a great cultural experience. And I think a lot of people hopefully leave thinking about that, that wow, I didn't know that about wrestling. That's really our goal is to see, number one, that it's a center for excellence, really. And number two, there's a lot of history here at the museum. Besides Olympic memorabilia, the museum offers many photographs, charts, banners, awards, and other hard-earned pieces of history. No matter how knowledgeable you are about the sport of wrestling, there is always something new to be learned, and this museum is the place to learn it. From old workout equipment, to what wrestlers used to weigh themselves on, to the history of college wrestling, dating back to the beginning and ending with the most recent, nothing has been forgotten. We have this picture back here of the West Gym in 1950 when Iowa State Teachers College won the NCAA tournament on its home turf. I love it that that gets resurrected and people know about it because when I walk into the West Gym, it's sacred ground to me. Uh, the, the Iowa High School State Tournament was there, you have all the dual meets going back there, you have all these great legends, these icons that went into the West Gym. So for that to come full circle and have students realize that again and understand the history and it want, what went into it, that's what the wrestling theory class is to me. It's, it's about the wrestling and it's about uh, technique, but it's also about learning about the history. There's really not, no greater history than Northern Iowa. This Hall of Fame museum really does have it all. There is designated space on the walls for the best high school wrestlers to have ever come through the state of Iowa, a full wrestling room with different types of training equipment, a conference room for special events, a TV room for visitors to watch highlight reels and documentaries, and a full selection of wrestling apparel for both fans and athletes. The Dan Gable Museum is named after a man that people believe is the god of wrestling. With a track record like the one he has, and a never-ending following of loyal fans, who's to say he's not? With the prowl, this is Marty Ball saying good night everyone.